This is Marco Vogt from www.houseinvestigations.com. Beware of VSMS, vinyl siding melting syndrome. Some people, the general public, us, we call this melting siding because it's actually melting. Um, Owning's Corning calls it reflective distortion. Uh, other companies call it compression wrinkles. And again, other companies call it softening due to heat. The bottom line is you put the siding on your house and it starts melting. That's a problem. I looked up uh, the melting point for siding on the uh, MSDS 444 and the melting point wasn't determined. However, the heat deflection temperature was 160 degrees Fahrenheit. That is rather low. Uh, typical heat distortion temperatures of vital siding uh, is approximately, according to that, 160 and 165 degrees. Uh, when the siding reaches this temperature, it is likely to distort. Reflective or radiated heat sources include windows, roofing, pavements, and certain underlayments. The manufacturers recommend installing screens and awnings and planting bushes or other landscaping around the property, and this can alleviate reflection or radiation. I've investigated numerous homes now that had this melting siding syndrome condition. Um, in some cases, it was actually the north side of the building where the sun doesn't even hit it. Uh, but the sun hits the neighbor's house, and there's a ton of windows there, and it hits the windows, and those windows reflect onto the home and melts the siding. Uh, in one particular case, the um, contractor, uh, siding contractor and builder, replaced the siding three times, and they still couldn't figure it out. Uh, this was also coupled with the fact that they used a foil-faced rigid insulation behind it, not to mention they also installed an interior vapor barrier which was uh, 6 mil poly underneath the drywall. So the heat was just building up in there and then with the neighbor's windows reflecting, it started melting the siding. Before you buy your siding, you better read the um, the warranties and you can get these off the internet. But uh, Alcoa's warranty, uh, in one of them, um, it states that the warranty does not cover impact of foreign objects, warping or distortion due to exposure to excessive heat sources and then it's got parentheses barbecue grills and we know you don't put barbecue grills next to siding right or exposure to unusual or excessive reflections uh, or reflective heat sources skylights or window reflections so they don't cover this so I guess I guess we need to build houses in the woods with tree shading so the Sun doesn't hit it and no neighbors and maybe we don't put any windows on our house and then we should have no problems I think the manufacturers need to go back to their old uh, designs because we never had problems with with the old sidings um, their melting points must have been higher and you know today's philosophy is no more no less so I think what's happening is they're cheapening their products their formulas uh, they're changing their formulas and the melting points are getting lower and lower and now we're starting to see all these problems and another issue is is that we're getting all these other new products uh, like I mentioned the foil face and what's happening in our new homes today is products are becoming incompatible with other products. Thank you. This is Marco Volk from www.houseinvestigations.com. That's www.houseinvestigations.com.